Welshman with the throw on the far side. They are attacking the end where the Barnet supporters are uh, situated. And uh, it's a high ball up there. Regan Linney being held there. And that's the first free kick of the afternoon. Someone is a big fan of Salisbury Hill. Obviously, yes. <laughs> it's either that or he can't find where the off button was. Quickly taken by Conclart and Newby. Flag stays down. Newby's got shots yeah! and scores immediately. 55 seconds on the clock. A quickly taken free kick there by Chris Conclart. Newby made the run, picked the ball up on the edge of the 18 yard area, and all he had to do was slot it past Josh Keely for the first goal of the afternoon. Oh, what a great way to mark the celebration of uh, signing on and extending your loan deal from Colchester. Alex Newby celebrates his out. What a great goal that was. Chris Conclart, brilliant to scout out that quick free kick. And Newby took his time, had all the time in the world, completely caught the ball at defence unaware, and he slotted it under the keeper and it trickled into the net. And the referee, good on the referee and good on the linesman as well for letting it go, letting that quick free kick that they could have blown the whistle and pulled it back. Yeah. Really, really good for Barnett Robbins. We're uh, really caught napping there. Well, taken, uh, corner taken short cross comes in that's a dangerous one and they're just over the bar at the expense of a corner there so no doubt uh, Dean Brennan will have been doing his homework again the cross comes in oh that's a nice uh, well over attempt there from Aluwa Aluwa yeah throw inside to uh, Partigan on loan from Mansfield and it switches out to their left hand side. Oh, that's nicely played by oh. Con Clark. He read that one well. He's got Linney ahead of him, able to run at the defence. He plays it inside to Newby. Newby shot, but no real power in that. <laughs> Wrestling match there between Kabamba and Roscoe. And I was altering him to pick up the loose ball. Newby now down to Osborne. Osborne tries to get the ball out. That's uh, put out for an Altium throw, which they'll take quickly to Linney. Back to Con Clark. Con Clark now top scorer for Altrincham. But to lose his possession there, but to Altrincham win it back. Linney. And it's going to be a free kick right on the edge of the area. I feel like Con Clark's technique might be better here. Get over the wall and into that top corner of the near post and this is tough here for Josh Keeley. so the free kick right on the edge of the 18 yard area well it was a good one not quite good enough but it was uh, certainly dipped down under the crossbar but uh, just a couple of feet uh, wide again Paul Johnson right out on the touchline. That's a good ball inside to Brunt. Brunt now, well, he went for the flick. Well, he's going apoplectic with a referee thinking that was handball, but I think that was uh, off the back of the altering defender. Whether it, whether it hits something, it hits its arm or not, I think you're doing very well for the referee to give it. Like, it's so rarely you see referees give those. So another corner for Barnett, it's taken short. Again, it's uh, flicked up, well headed clear up to the edge of the area. Mooney loses out, and the flick on there, and uh, straight into the hands of uh, Ethan Ross. Just not quite got their passing right in that position, have they, Barnet? They then they pushing men forward, but their passing just hasn't been. Marriott, oh, Conclark picks it up. I think that was meant for Newby, but eventually oh, it does get out to Newby. Newby on the edge of the area. What can he do here? Oh, he's just overrun it slightly. Con Clark's come back. Shot comes in, half cleared. Oh, and Regan Linney couldn't control it. Oh, if he got that control right, he would have had a shot on goal from point blank range. And in the end, just just couldn't get it down. And the goalkeeper snapped it up. Let off there for Barnett as they uh, get the ball out onto the right hand side. Again. But it's cut out by Baines. Now then, Newby again with another opportunity to run at the defence. Inside for Con Clark, he flicks it forward, looking for Regan Linney, but uh, it was well dealt with there by uh, Jerome Akimo. Akimo taking no chances there. No, 
Corner again, though it's taken short. Osborne with a shot, oh, and just past the post there. Well, that's one from the training ground, obviously. Hit it first time across the face of goal, and uh, Keeley uh, would have been struggling. Caught Barnett unaware there. Barnett pick up the second ball. Canu tries to go around his man. That's a Excellent. good challenge there. Now then, Regan Linney got room to take his man on. He's no support other than Con Clark. Great ball. Banks has joined him. Gets it out to Con Clark. Con Clark gets a shot in. Oh, he's put it wide. He really would have done better. He'd expect him to do better there, but he's just pulled his shot to the right of uh, Josh Keeley and that could quite easily have been 2-0. Dean Brennan will be having a word, I think, a strong word at half-time with, with his players as it stands. Again, it's a long clearance there, looking for Baines this time. He's in a very forward position and gets a foot in. It's won the ball. Newby picks it's won up the a ball. ball. Baines did really well there. Paul Johnson suggesting it should have been a free kick. Newby goes round the outside. Played back to the keeper. And keeper needs to make a move. Oh, and in the end, he puts it out for a uh, Altrincham corner. The ref, the ref hasn't stopped playing unless it's, you know, a series he's... Corner for Altrincham, flicked across the area, and it's in! <laughs> it's flicked across, Lewis Baines it is left-footed into the roof of the net, and Altrincham take a 2-0 lead. And I've got to say, that's what they deserve, I think. I agree, to, to be honest, because they've created chances of Alti. Barnett have had extended spells, but they've not really created much. Alti have defended well. In the last 10 minutes, since the restart really of the game from the referee stoppage, Barnett have been poor, they've struggled to put passes together and Alti have looked significantly stronger inside the opposition half and that, to be honest, is what they deserve. 2-0 and oh, the Bees will be so disappointed, honestly. It's been a really poor first half from them and Dean Brennan, I said he had strong words for his men at half-time. He'll be more than strong now because his side have amounted to climb in the second period. So... Uh We've still got another, what, three minutes to go to half-time with this extended period of uh, injury time for the uh, replacement referee, but it's Altrincham at two, Barnett nil. It's Newby a really poor and, goal uh, to concede as well, isn't it, Baines Paul? there. Well, they'll be disappointed, Barnett, with that one because it was flicked on and uh, it fell to, uh, to Baines and uh, he had the easiest of chances. There was certainly no one marking him. Lindley now oh, gets away from his man. Newby ahead of him. Getting to the byline. He's gone too far. Does well to retain. It's still going. Gets a shotting. That's a good save there by Josh Keeley. As we kick off Alti shooting um, in towards their own fans behind the goal. And Barnett. Likewise, Dan Mooney on debut. And uh, as Alti try and make all the running early on. Now, Con Clark does well to control that and keep it in and draw a corner. So a good start to the second half here. I think if uh, Barnett were to nick one early, then uh, it just uh, starts uh, a few lingering doubts uh, from an Altingham perspective. Baines attempted to flick it across. Shot from Linney is deflected. I looked deflected to me, and it is given a corner. And, uh, attempted through ball was cut out. Newby, uh, Dan Mooney here on this right hand side. Con Clark. Osborne looking for Linney. Not dealt with. And Regan Linney, no foul, and Linney tried to go around the keeper and. Uh, that was good from uh, Keeley getting something on the ball. Alti fans won the penalty, but no chance. It was no, a, there was never a penalty out. Looking up for a long ball here. Maybe wonder if Barnett will try and go a bit more direct in this second half. Won't work for them this time. And that's a great switch from Lewis Banks. And now it's new beats. Got Con Clark in support. Here is Chris Con Clark deflected. And in. <laughs> Chris Conklark gets his goal. Let's remark about whether the shot was going on target. Was it a cross come shot? Conklark won't care, he'll claim it. And Ultry get that all important third goal. And this is turning into a bit of a nightmare from a Barnet point of view. Perfect yeah. start to the second half for the Robins. Ultringham three, Barnet nil. 
Yeah, you've got to have sympathy there for uh, the Barnet defence because Conclart made the run, got into space, but his shot uh, hit the defender and looped over into the uh, into the empty net. So a bit of uh, fortune there from an Altingham perspective. But uh, yeah, Altingham three, Barnet nil, and uh, Phil Parkinson will be delighted with that uh, start to the second half with just four and a half minutes on the clock. Not quite as quick uh, as the start of the first half, but. Uh, just what Altrincham fans were uh, would have been looking for. They've set the tone here. Receives it back. Marriott goes for switch, but uh, only as far as Ben Coker. Looks as though Barnett might be making the first change of the afternoon. Con Clark and Dean Brennan didn't make any change at half-time, almost giving his players a chance, but uh, they clearly haven't taken it. Con Clark driving at the Barnett defence. Still going, Chris Conclark. This is an amazing run. Still oh, going, still Chris Conclark. Not again, surely. Conclark pulls it back. Oh, oh he missed Liddy that. Pulls it wide. Conclark boots the advertising board in frustration. He did everything right. It was almost the best assist you'll see all season. And Regan Linney, oh, rolled it wide. Oh, oh, what a goal it would have been, Paul. He should have hit the target there. Poor old Chris Conclark. He started the run in his own half. He's run all the way down the touchline on the left-hand side, got to the byline, beat about three or four players, pulled it back to Regan Linney, who really had probably the simplest task of all is just find the back of the net. And for some, somehow he's managed to put that, round, that, that wide and that could have easily been 4-0 to Altrincham. But uh, again, fantastic play by Chris Conclark. I could watch him week in, week out. It's like elastic, isn't it? Just stuck to him. You can't get it off him. Yeah, he's got great clo cl close control and uh, showed it to the maximum there with that run. Regan Linney holding on to it. Two Barnet players converge. They can't get it. Here's Conklot. Is he going to try and do it himself? He is, you know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Just wide of the mark. I think uh, Keeley saw it all the way. But Conklot deciding, well, if you can't put it in for me, I'll have to try and do it myself. Just Connor can't find the way through. Goes back to Pritchard. Ulti pressing hard as best as they can. Attended switch has been cut out by uh, Newby. Newby. And here they go again. They've got Linney left. He's got Conclark right. He's going to use Regan Linney. Oh, and Linney gets it all wrong. He was off balance there. Mm. And it, it's going to be kept in, though. Dan Mooney's going to get a, a chance. Plays it into Conclark. Conclark drills it across goal and cut out by Okimo. About 11 minutes into the second half. Newby not the best. And dealt with. Carnu looking to counter here for Barnett. Oh, great tackle there by Roscoe. Brilliant from Roscoe. And now Mooney. And now Conclock. They're giving him space. Conclock shoots. Oh, again, and Chris Josh Clark. What can you say? Josh Keeley with a great save. Just, just not enough power on it to get it into that top corner and gave Keeley the chance to launch himself full stretch for the save and I'm telling you whenever Paul Salt is here on commentary you're, not far, you're never far away from a Chris Conclark banger Moscow Osborne lovely flick forward turned by Regan Linney can he get it down the line oh. he can brilliant from Ulti again and there from Linney and now Newby ball back to Dan Mooney he's open here Mooney edge of the box curls oh, it oh it's a poor effort really and, uh, too close to the goalkeeper Keeley. I think Mooney will be disappointed there he didn't pick his spot better through ball to Carno. imagine Carno will go right hand side here he will to uh, Maguire Drew the substitute now gets it back here Jordan Maguire Drew step over goes down in the box and the referee oh. has given a dive <laughs> he's given a dive and it's going to be a booking for yeah. Jordan Maguire Drew a few step overs sidestepped his man and then went down the referee judged no contact a dive and a card three goals conceded so far this afternoon and one as particularly would be a disappointing one it's uh, ball in the box takes a deflection and uh, just won by the ulti man and cleared away and, uh, they'll go again will Barnett Coker really good ball in the box overload back post well nodded clear only as far as uh, an outside played wide to Carnu. Carnu back to Coca. Can they get a good cross in? He's got Carnu in support. Back to Idris Carnu. No, Artigan. Great ball in from the substitute. One. And uh, Ethan Ross can't deal with it. And Ulti get it clear. And the ref gives a free kick. 
Barnet fans furious. There was a melee in there. Couldn't quite see. Coker. Well controlled by uh, Pritchard. Now Carno. Oh, poor from Carno giving away straight to Conclark. Switches it to Regan Linney. The goalkeeper was in a good position. And the goalkeeper has not dealt with it, though. Regan Linney. He's got space, goalkeeper spreads it back to his goal, well cut across Conklock! Oh, oh, again. Just over the bar, a bit too much to do. Really good though from Linney, took his time, looked up and Conklock on the stretch. Yeah, it was the right just ball, it was it just down. a bit too much pace on it for Chris Conklock. He was always uh, stretching to get on the end of it. But and, uh, mm. Carnu under heavy pressure from Banks. Banks wins it. Carnu throws his arms up in frustration. Lewis Banks takes it off him. Now Newby. Newby on his right foot oh, shot. Getting a good effort Just there from the goal. Newby. Barnett, you're a tired Barnett back line in this, you know, on this pitch, running mm. a lot. 3 0 down, and then you've got Justin Amaluza running at you. But here we go now. Can Barnett fashion opportunity? They can't. And Amaluza turns. And does plays well, it Amaluza well. with his first touch. Con Clark tried to switch it back right, but it was well blocked. It's going to be kept in by Hall Johnson. He's got um, Baines for company. Plays it back. Now Hartigan. Hartigan switches to Coker. He's seen a lot of the ball this second half. As has Carno. Back to Coker. Coker to Carno again. Maguire drews ball in. Ross commits, gets something on it. And uh, it's been volleyed into the net. Well, there was a misjudgment there from Ethan Ross and the defender. And a an really good technique and a great finish that. Very muted celebration from Barnett. It was Harry Pritchard who put it in. But a really good finish, I've got to say, to give him credit. He leathered that into the bottom corner. It was a fantastic technique there. The ball came out to him on the edge of the 18-yard box and he got his knee over the ball and kept it low. But, uh, yeah, mix up there between Ethan Ross and uh, I think it was uh, Cooper. Really, uh, I think uh, I'm not sure whether Ross called for the ball. Back to Coca there from uh, Akimo. Akimo receives the ball here, tries to drive forward, goes back to Coca. Forward to Carnu, has space to run into. Pritchard, scorer of Barnett's only goal. Chips left hand side. Coker should be able to keep that in. He needs to. He does. Coker's ball in. Nodded clear again. Ball the edge of the box. Hits an altering a man. I think. I think it was uh, Brockbank that blocked it. Whipped in that corner. Nodded clear by Banks, who's had a really good afternoon. Another great ball in. Back post and a second goal. He's onside. And we got ourselves a grandstand finish. It was Carnu, I think, who turned it in late. He's limping a little bit there, committed for it. And uh, they are going to get an opportunity here. Ulti got three minutes to see this game out. And, uh, well, we feared it. Barnes well, are a great side. You was, can't write uh, them off. And they're going to get an opportunity here to have one more quick push. They have been such a threat. He has got to get this one right. We've got less than 30 seconds of stoppage time remaining. It's another great ball in. It's not it on. And Ethan Ross gathers it. And was that the chance for Barnet? Well, hopefully, if you're a Nottingham fan, that uh, might be the last action of this uh, thoroughly entertaining second half. We are just about up when it comes to the five minutes. How much extra will the referee add on? Ethan Ross launches it out. The referee's letting play go. Oh, he needs to go. I'm a loser. The, the goalkeeper did not come out to collect it, though. That doesn't help Barnett, to be honest. And Olsen have kept the ball in possession. Back. And Conclark smartly goes back to the corner flag. Really good from Chris Conclark. And that is the full time whistle. Barnett fought to the end. But Olsen do enough to gain three big points and win this game by three goals to two against a really strong Barnet side who weren't at the races this afternoon, but they gave themselves a chance. But Ulti have hung on, and they pick up a vital win to cement their place in the Vanarama National League playoffs.